going to post and split. So Iranian or low lift or whatever you call it. Now I'm in on this single leg. He sprawls me out. Okay. There's no way in the planet that I can just split him right here. Okay. In order for me to split him, I've got to get my knees up under my chest and my head, and I got to be able to straighten my back. All right. So in order to do that, the majority of the time they're going to split power post. Step up, knee slide under, and straighten their back. Okay, and get back to this flat lace position right here. Okay, so knowing that they're gonna have to post for, for a second or two to step up and split the middle, we're gonna capitalize on the fact that they're posting. So as they post and split, and we get split upside down, we're gonna lock around their body and trap the post arm to their body. So as I post, and go to slide and split, he's just going to lock around my body and trap my arm. Now, again, he's still trying to get his head to the mat, all right, which stabilizes his body, and get his heels to his butt. He's still going to arch and stretch my elbow behind my ear. Now, at this point, you can go to whatever side you choose. I like going to the trap side. I don't care what side you go to. But the key here when you go down is to try to get a big swing with your outside knee and get your knees under you. But first, whatever side you're going to, I want you to get both knees to that side. Okay? Does everybody see I'm in this position right here and he's got a knee on either side of my head. If he's going to go to my trap side, I want him to get both knees. Now you see how he's stretching me out even more. Now he arches, big knee swing down here. When we get to this position, and this is something Coach Joe asked me about earlier. He was like, are you using your forearm or your elbow to steer or control? In this position, we're using our elbow of the top hand to steer the ribs down to the mat. Now, he's on his shin, and he's going to step his outside foot up. My head's going to be down, and he's just going to wrestle to the corner right here. Okay? You can trap the arm as long as you need to. The only thing I'm going to caution you for is stepping over the ankle too soon and not having a post. All right? So I'm in on this single leg. He rakes stuff covers and squares. I post, step up, slide under, split. Again, if he doesn't lock on the way up, my hand's going to come out. Okay? He's going to trap my hand. I don't care really how you lock your hands. As long as you lock and trap the arm, you're going to get both knees to one side. You're going to arch, knee swing down. And when your knees hit, this elbow is driving over the top and steering. Outside foot's going to come up. Now, when we get here, a lot of times we have a tendency to hurry to the corner. Stay right here and take a big step with your right foot over my ankle. Okay? A lot of times we try to step over too soon without getting around behind them, and this guy will kind of drive into us and we're back on our hip. What I don't want you to do is step too soon and take the post away, and this guy kind of knows he's about to get beat and then butt back into us. Now I feel like I'm winning. I got feet in the mat, he's on a hip, I can wrestle this position. So as you're circling behind them with that body lock, don't step so big that you don't have anything behind you. Scoot, 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 then step over. Then you can start addressing that, that corner there and then what you're doing on top. Any questions? All right. So the biggest thing is as we're getting split, lock around the body, two knees to one side. Don't fall off the side to your hip. Lastly, a lot of guys are going to ask. They're going to fall off and try to roll through. All right. I don't think that's wrong but it allows me to continue to wrestle. This is what I'm talking about. So I'm in on this single, and I want you to start up. Start up on your feet. I want us to start here so he rakes, stuffs, covers here. When I get stretched out here, even though I'm locked and I got a split, I'm going to post, knee slide, split. Okay? One thing that I want you to, to be cautious of when you go both knees over and go down, a lot of guys go to their hip, try to roll this guy through. But what it does is it gives me an opportunity to continue to wrestle, all right? So we can roll this guy through and try to end up back on top. Keep going and wrestle here, all right? But again, risk factor goes up when we roll. So you just got to think about it. What's riskier? Me swinging down and circling to the corner and controlling his head to the mat or falling to my hip, rolling him through, 
In a freestyle environment, it might be a good opportunity to get a quick two, but a lot of times their ref's going to go two and two there. All right, but folk style, we don't get points for exposure like that. So get your knees under you, run to the corner. Questions? Good? All right, let's go.